<coughs> what's up guys what is up welcome welcome to my channel if you have not yet already hit that like button subscribe more videos dread gang you know we're we're coming i'm trying to come strong in here you know represent for all of us out here um so yeah today today in this video right here i'm gonna do an update an update so uh i think i said this i'm pretty sure i did um last video but currently as of january i am in my six month dread journey yeah it is exciting i'm trying to tell you it's exciting i was so like happy to have finally reached six months i've been waiting on this since like day one uh it seemed like uh the first i want to say like two to three the first like two to three months uh kind of seemed like they were slow to me like it it took a minute i'm just like okay okay uh, especially those first like few weeks like i'm like <laughs> but, but uh after that it's like going next thing i know i look up oh it's another month wow so um yeah so i'm here today um and i have a last last week yes last week i got uh, a fresh wash uh retwist style um i just uh got a new lactation well i really actually honestly i really didn't even have a lactation uh as when i first started my locks um i went to one lactation and so thing is i'm a, i'm from ohio originally from ohio 513 but uh i am in virginia for my job uh and you know i'm not i want i don't want to say new but i am still new to the area so i don't know you know where to go like i've been in ohio all my life i know i know who to go to where to go to or whatever so i hear it's like i was like dang i don't know i don't really want to i don't know what to do who to go to and i just like i really want I really want to start the dread journey. I really want to start my legs, but I'm not trying to uh, just go to anybody and look crazy. So I'm searching, I'm searching, you know, Facebook, Instagram, all that. I'm searching and um, I came across someone that was about 30 minutes away from me. So I go out there, I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. I'm excited. I'm at work. I'm scheduling like uh my appointment so i go out there it's like a weekend go out there uh got it done cool you know bam i'm like okay you know i'm in here and um i got it done everything's fine so it's like three or four days later now i know with starter locks like it's not going to just stay intact like if you had them over time but it's like three to four days later bro and i'm like waking up and i'm look it, it's it looked like it's been like a week or two already like it's time for another retwist or a retwist and i'm like what the heck how like what what went wrong what happened and then um not only that it was like i asked for specific like uh pattern um and like size and all that and I don't feel like she met that what I what I wanted and I was like okay this is a disaster like maybe I shouldn't have started this like I had all types of doubts and stuff and I was just like this is crazy I'm just gonna say forget it but then um after that uh, I want to say a few weeks after I was just like this is crazy I'm taking it out or like a week later I was like taking it out taking it out took it out 
I was I was hurt. Like and I'm only a weekend, so I'm like I'm hurt. I'm like, dang, this I really wanted this. Like this is what I really wanted. So that's what made me uh go find someone continue like because I really felt, I was like, dang, I really do want that. Like, I really felt a type of way, like someone had it for years and just cut it off. I'm like, dang, that kind of did get to me. I really, I really wanted that. But um, it kind of set me back a little bit because I was scared to have it done again. Like, this is not going to turn out right. So then my wife's friend came in town to visit us. And then, and then... A miracle happened so <laughs> she was like yeah she know how to start locks and she can do this and this and her boyfriend you know she does his and she started other people's I'm like okay cool 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 bet good and I'm not uh repaying like after paying you know the first time and it's only been like a week and I'm like dang I'm, I'm basically that just I just flushed it down a drain like that money so she came into town, you know, got me together, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it was like a couple weeks later, and um, I don't know if I messed up something, but whatever. Anyway, I like, so you know how you just envision something, and you know, it, it not saying it has to go perfect, but like, you, you see it, you see what you want, or you see about, you know, where you want it. And that doesn't happen, you're like, but <laughs> I was like, dang, this is crazy. This is crazy. So uh, the, uh, the size and all that was not on, but some of my parts, I wanted uh, a different way. And it's really kind of my fault because I should have looked more into like the different grid patterns and exactly what size because like I knew what size I wanted to end up with but I didn't really know how to uh tell them to start based on what I wanted to end up with and I knew like I like I said I could see exactly how I wanted it but I didn't know how to get that into words and I know how to say it and I, I slacked on doing a lot of research that I should have did um to get this started but anyway so got that done so then I took out like a couple went too many mainly like just this like but I took out took out some kind of uh put some basically split some in half and like made two out of them or whatever because I really I, I wanted like full like when when they grow I want it full like I want it full I mean I didn't want just a few I mean unless I'm doing like high top dress or whatever then I I wouldn't want as many but I wanted it full you know because I already got like tapered tapered sides and then the back in the back if you see me like I got that tapered as well so it's like this much in the back that much in the back tape it off uh so then after that i kind of i was like you know what i'll i'll do it i'm gonna get this together it's not it's like you know how sometimes that people like you want it done you want it done do it yourself you know what i mean so i'm like all right cool and if i knew what i knew starting i probably would have just did it myself to begin with because it's not uh as bad as i thought and um i feel like if you're visualizing it you can more so you know go off of how you know how you think that it would be you know what i mean so that's what happened so basically i'm not out like i started over like one and a half times if that makes sense because I, I started and then I started over and then after that I kind of just manipulated it, uh, a couple to get to where I am now and then uh, as I did this there were a few that was kind of small so uh, my current lactation she kind of combined some together just so you know it's more um, I don't want to say mature but 
when it matures that it look better and so um uh, yeah so for a while i was like doing everything myself me and my wife you know i'm just like forget this i'm not about to spend money to have people watch uh retwist i know how i got this i can do it myself bam like i started this it looks nice you know i can i can manage it i got this so i did that for a while wow a wow and then i'm like I don't think that I'm reaching a full maturity that I can get because I'm not like a professional. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I feel like I'm limited myself. Like, I feel like if I would have been going to uh, the right lactation from jump, my dress would have looked way more mature than they do now for a six month period. Now that's in my eyes. My current lactation, she said I did, you know, I've been doing fine. It's been, it's, it's definitely, it's basically at uh, the point that it's supposed to be at. So, uh, with my job, I do a lot of like on and off hats and all that, craniums, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, I, uh, this time I was looking to get a uh, interlax or like instalac type thing, but not like all the way down, you know, if that makes this interlock the roots. So that's it's tighter, it lasts longer, and all that. So, uh, finally, yeah, I didn't tell y'all about this lactation, but so finally, um, we have a group basically barbers, lacticians, hairdressers, all that for Virginia. Joined that, found her, and then, uh, you know, went from there. She has lax, her son has lax, her daughter has lax, her husband has lax. I mean, so everybody. So, you know, she's she's in there and theirs are uh, definitely healthy and uh, you can tell it's well, like, maintained and all that. She know what she's talking about. So I went there, um, told her, you know, basically I was trying to get, uh, like, Instalax. And she told me at the point I am now that it's best to just kind of let it be because I'm at a good, like, I'm basically where I should be. And so she did, like, the roots of it. When I take uh, the style out, which will probably be, like, this weekend or something, when I take the style out, then I'll be able to show you guys better of, like, um, what what interlocking does. So if you can see a little on here you see if you see that that's it's kind of like a braided uh weaving type of look because they like weave it through weave it through uh with the crochet needle so it gives it that type of look so it's definitely a tighter like it's a tighter uh thing and it's not something i'll do like all the time but i wanted to try it and see and um she told me that it will help like I guess basically help to uh, my maturing process and um, as I'm going along. So um, as of today, I don't know how many locks I have. Uh, like I said, she did combine a few. And uh, at first my vision was to have like this straight grid, like bam, bam, bam. But how I have it now, I like kind of the, the, uh, not like everywhere but i like the like basically like you don't have to be completely perfect to be okay you know what i mean it doesn't you have, don't have to do the job well like completely perfect to say that you did a good job so that's how it is with i guess my pattern you know what i mean it doesn't have to be completely centered to look nice and because i think it does look nice fun fact uh, when I was younger, I don't know if you could see it because she did a good job kind of like making it blend in. But it's a spot in my head when I was younger. Uh, got a relaxing lady messed up, didn't know what she was doing. She burnt off like a little spot in my head like the follicles. No hair is growing right there. And it's like right here. Just a little indent right there. And so uh, I try to like kind of cover it up, you know what I mean? But um, she did a nice job covering up. Usually they just like bam the 
person I went to before just kind of bam and it was just like exposed there here you go you bought there you go <laughs> like I'm like okay wow but uh she did a nice job of doing it and I really love how it came out like I really love what she did and I'm gonna just give y'all kind of 360 to a uh, wow tour <laughs> Is this a MTV Cribs or Drip? <laughs> Sorry. But I'm going to give y'all a 360 uh, look at what everything's looking like. So here's that top. Side. Okay. Front again. Other side. And this is the back. yeah so uh that's where i am now since six months in basically 1.5 uh attempts later and a style and some interlocking so that's where i'm at now um i'm loving it i'm appreciating that's why i said it's like the first like few months oh i really just wanted to just comb these out and say forget it because I, I was like, oh, but <laughs> I'm so glad I stuck with it. So great. I'm going to show y'all the braid out when that happens. And, um, uh, like, I guess kind of more of the length because you can't really tell. But here's with the braid in. That's like where it is. So, and uh, she kind of like blunted blunted the ends of uh my dreads uh with the crochet so that it's not like as frizzy because i i would have like a dread and then it'd be like a string type of thing just there and i'm like i didn't really want to cut it so she kind of blunted those a little bit for me i didn't do the full dread interlocking like i said i just did the uh retwist part of it so it on this one it's like that much that much that uh new growth that i had that she retwisted and it was like uh over a month and yeah about a month time or something like that um but yeah i try to like i'm not as fresh but i'm still fresh so i really do my um wash retwist every month um i'll probably get to the point where i do it like every two months but as of right now it's every month because i'm like locked up it's not mature but i'm locked up and uh so it's like at the point where it's still if if i go try to go beyond that first the separation like uh the parts would just start getting crazy and then to try to pull and separate is gonna hurt and i'm not trying to do that uh so that's why it's been sticking to a month as of now you know who knows what will happen in time but yeah uh so that ends today's video um with my dread update and i hope you guys got a lot of information and you know any questions feel free to ask uh, i appreciate appreciate you guys so far hit that thumbs up button uh leave some comments subscribe tell your friends dreadhead gang i'm in here until next time guys we're out